kick. What's good to know, family? Welcome back to another vlog, guys. So, today, we're gonna do Miss B's haircut. So, start the drill, let's go! Here with Miss B's guys. Good morning, Miss B's. Good morning. I'm Hello. getting my hair done today by Mr. Duba. I'm very excited. Are we going short, eh? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen B's short for so long, eh? So as you know, really excited to get my hair done. It's been a long time. It's growing. So I'm tossing up whether to go, just cut the undercut back here. And, or, really? I don't know. <laughs> This morning, just putting my face on. I've been using a really good hydrating rejuvenation boost on my skin because yes. as you're getting older, um, things are starting to sag. Things are starting to go south. <laughs> but, <laughs> but guys, if it's your first time here, thank you very much for coming to our channel. We appreciate it, but we appreciate you more if you press the subscribe button and the like button because um. <clears throat> That's how YouTube rolls, mate. Also, if you're OG, thank you very much for tuning in. As always, we share the love. Always sharing the love with Tina and your family. Okay, let's go. Let's go to this hiccup, man. Woo! Don't mind, don't mind. So, this is sit down with Miss B's. Haven't done it in ages, so I'm gonna ask her some questions while I'm doing a hiccup. First of all, let's have a look at it before, guys. Oh, stop it. Ah, people need to see, mate. Look at that. It's terrible. That's the process of growing it out the hair, man. Look, Bees' hair is really thick on the bottom. It's normally uh, shaved underneath. Colour's looking a bit... <clears throat> rash, right? Rash, right? But that's the before. And stay tuned as we make over our hair. I say challenge was growing out my undercut. So, hey, guess what, guys? Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Cut it all short. All right, Bees, first question. Yes. Are you scared to go short? Um, look, I've always been very daring when it comes to my hair because I like the short look and I like the long look, but I'll tell you what guys, I think I've had my days of long hair. I look back at photos and I think, wow, that was really nice, but it was really long. And I went really short, so I'm excited. Ooh, ooh. Hey, ready guys? Good, do it. Done it, guys. It's raining hair. <laughs> All right, what's your advice for girls, especially Polynesians out there okay. um, that are scared to go short? It's their skin color or their size or whatever. I know for a fact that um, a lot of island girls are very scared to go um, really short simply because, I don't know, we've got that island mentality where long hair is beautiful and I always used to hide behind my hair because I was too scared to go short. But my advice to you guys, if you've got bad hair, don't grow it. Cut it all off, start again. Uh, don't be scared, there's a lot of different cuts. Just because you go short, it doesn't mean you have to go boy short. I did. Uh, back in the days, I went like probably that short and I went blonde all over and it was a cool cut. I honestly get, um, holy shit. You cut your hair all off. Stage two, he's taken that length off and he's just blow dried it out. 
you know what guys, I'm actually liking it already. I'm like, maybe we stop here. <laughs> so to continue on with Mr. Thomas Bees, what are some questions that girls ask questions. when they're coming in? Okay. Or what are they afraid of, short hair? And... You know why I think we're very scared of going short? It's because us Islanders, and, I, and I'm being serious, we have a lot of volume in our face. Yeah. That's the answer. That, that, that is the answer. People are just scared because going short is revealing your features. But you know what? You've got to. A lot of us have really pretty faces and and we hide behind our hair. So that's what it is. We're afraid to go short, but there are different short haircuts. So just because you're going short, it doesn't mean you can't talk to your stylist to choose something that's going to suit your face shape. Mm. Definitely. What I find when women come in, as B said, they're scared of this face shape. Mm. So the first thing I say to them, don't think of short as being boy short. Yeah. This is short. Yeah. You still got this long and it's all feminine, mm -hmm. but have all this rugged and short at mm. the back. But mm. you'll see, guys, don't forget to subscribe down the bottom, mate. Really good already, eh, guys? I don't know, that looks really good already. A lot of other questions is, oh my gosh, B, so you know how you've gone really short? I'm like, yeah, they're like, does that mean you have to contour your chin every morning? Oh. All right, another question. Yeah, my girls are gonna kill me. Sapphire does not want me to cut my hair because she still likes my hair in braids. But um, braids is my go-to when I go to Bali because it's low maintenance and you can just wear it as is. Another question for Miss Bees. Yeah. Women come in with thick hair, mm -hmm. Polynesian, Maori or, or Pakia or whatever, and they say, my hair's dry. Is that true? The texture of the hair. It's our natural hair. It's, yeah. That's what it looks mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. But because we live in a Western world, everybody thinks the silky soft yeah. hair. You've got to have. You've got to have. I have Africans that come in, but their hair is so shiny, but frizzy. Mm -hmm. That's what you're born with. Yeah. So that's the texture of our hair. Yeah. And what's your advice on um, upkeep on that type of hair? Okay, so we have so many products out on the market that cater for our hair. I would probably go for something slightly thicker to make our hair look healthier. But in saying that, treatments are amazing, guys. You've got to treat your hair. Treatment, treatment. Even if it means um, leaving your treatment in overnight, do it. Treat your hair the same way you would treat your skin. My next question is... What's your advice on coconut oil? Everybody comes in and asks, is coconut oil good for my hair? Yeah. For our hair, I think coconut oil is our go-to. Number one, it's very good for your hair. Number two, it's amazing on the budget. And I think being coconut oil and us being coconut, we have that. <laughs> We're destined to be together. So I think it's an amazing product for our hair. What do you reckon, Dave? Yeah, I think yeah. so too. It just tames the hair, and that's what we want. Yeah. Bees, Miss Bees, she's going to do a reaction video on Polynesian hair from different cultures. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. But my advice on uh, coconut oil, yes, use it. Use it all the time because our hair, it looks dry, but we want it to look that silky and shiny. Mm. So coconut oil will just take it to the next yeah. level. Another thing I think a lot of our friends and family are very scared of coconut oil is they think that your hair is just going to look absolutely oily. Coconut oil does wash out. So you're gonna to have to probably do two shampoos after you've treated it, but it's amazing. But the benefits on coconut oil, go and look into it. Hair, skin, your, mm. your mouth, it's really good as well. Um, and bedtime too. Oh, yeah, <laughs> do this bedtime. But most importantly, you need to keep up with your trims, yeah? See how Dub is thinning out my hair? You need to get your hair constantly thinned out over. Yeah. So our hair doesn't go yeah. this way, yeah. we want it to sit flat. Mm. And that's probably another big thing, what clients say, they go, Bees, how do you maintain your hair? Obviously you don't have afro. Oh, hello, <laughs> girlfriend. I've got an afro. So, uh, my next question is, how many different hairstyles and colours have you had on your thicket? The colours of the rainbow. That's all I can say. I have been probably every hair colour that you can think of. That's part of being a hairdresser. You've got to do it. You've got to be that role model so that when clients come in, they'll go, oh, geez, I'm going to go her colour. So they'll ask you. So you're like the walking role model 
for your clients. But I like to be the walking role model for our islanders. I think that's our market. That's my market anyway. I want to try and showcase a short haircut to someone like a balami mean, that's got beautiful hair. I uh, just make a fool out of myself. <laughs> Guys, I've been every style that you can think of, short, long, medium. And just to let you guys know, if you click onto the top of all the different looks that I've been in my lifetime. All right guys, you can see it's starting to come into shape. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And I love to cut hair dry because then you can see how the hair is gonna be manipulated and the way that your client- I'm getting manipulated. <laughs> the way that the hair can sit. So look at that guys, it's looking so good. good. But see how I'm still keeping the front mm. nice and longish. Yeah. That gives it the feminine look. Mm -hmm. Can you please tell them how brassy color suits us and how ashy only suits so many people? Okay. Beyonce! Okay, so us that are slightly darker and what we're finding a lot is a lot of our Samoan or Island girls are coming in with these uh, pictures with, you know, the like an ash blonde, which is almost like a tinge of grey. I tried it, mm -mm. not good. Because our skin color is very warm, we also need something very warm for our color. So I know to us, we're probably thinking, oh my God, this is ginger or orange. Guess what? That warmth really suits our skin color. So a lot of ladies that come in, they go, I oh, want your color bees, but you know what, in all honesty, mm. my color, no, my color, hair color on them, is gonna look really funny because they're very white. Yeah. And it's just gonna look like tinta. 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 And my hair is looking fun. I love it. I love it, babe. How often should you maintain your hair? If you should. Okay. okay. So I guess the last thing you wanna do is to outgrow your trendy look. What will actually happen if I was to leave this and wasn't to maintain it? It's going to go into a really awkward shape. So guys, I know there's always something that I let my clients know. Six to ten weeks, always come in and get a trim. Mm. Always come in and maintain the yeah. hairstyle. Because when it grows out, that's when you're just going to leave it. You've lost the shape and you just need to touch up those ends. Steve's always has to get a bit of texture in there. And you know what? Hey, just to prove... Our hair can get really good texture. Look at that. So good. I love it. Just to answer that question, on average, our islanders and kiwis come in once a year or mm. every six months. Yeah. The important thing is also, mothers work their asses off. Yeah. So come in and spoil yourself all the time. Look at that already. Hey, man. And sometimes it, I know, I know with us islanders, anything expensive, and we always feel so selfless, right? Right, mums? It's all about everyone else but you. Guess what? Even if you're booking for a wash, cut, and blow dry, or just come in and have someone treat that afro. You know, <laughs> have some basin time. It's beautiful, and you deserve it, and your hair's gonna love it. Can I give you a question? Yeah. Um, so, do you like taking girls from one extreme to another? I love it. Yeah. With color, I've always been like that. I don't want the normal style coming in, mm. because at the end of the day, we're all individuals, mm. yeah? So whether it's with a cool haircut like this or a cool color, pink, purple or blue, I love that. I think women are beautiful and every single woman needs to be themselves. I've had a lot of clients like myself that have wanted to grow the undercut out but they don't want to cut the hair. Guess what guys, you need to. Mm. Otherwise, the top's just going to look super long mm. and the undercut is going to look super long, whereas it needs a cut to blend it together, eh? Yeah. That's what Duva's done. He's yeah. blended my bottoms oi, to my tops. Yeah. So, yeah, very, very important, guys. Oh my gosh, I see like so it. much face. I love it. Have a look. It's looking good, eh? It's looking good. But just here is a little bit too heavy for her. Mm -hmm. I think you can see it better there. Yeah, there. It's too heavy there, so I'm going to go in and chip it. Dubs is the chipping man. Chip, 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 chip. We used to have this client back in the days, eh, babe? She just used to say, please just chip, 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 chip. <laughs>
funny haircut, but Thank just you. face the camera. So as I said before, I love to do this to clients. Shake it around, make sure that the hair's sitting right. And when they do this at home, mm. see how it took me two seconds. I want them to be able to do it in two seconds. Mm. Yeah, and, and, and have a little bit of uh, a play. Wow. Here. I think at the end of the day, the worst thing a hairdresser can do is to give a client a haircut that they can't do at home. What's the use of it, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that seems to be the biggest problem. What do you think, guys? Looks awesome, hey! Comment down below what you think of Miss B's new haircut. I think we're gonna keep the colour, yeah? I don't know. No, I love it. Looks good. Because the bottom's dark. But it looks cool. That's Isn't the disconnected look. Alright, Tinania fans. Look at Miss B's hair. It looks pretty, hey? I absolutely love it.